Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Railway Empire. I hope all of you enjoyed your 4th of July weekend, as I certainly did. In the previous episode, we began expanding our railroad southwards, connecting Houston, Texas, and Denver, Colorado. Today, we'll basically continue on expanding our rail network, as well as connecting more of these cities together, and hopefully try to reach our western city. Hopefully, Salt Lake. So let's begin with some normal construction. We'll basically start expanding outside of Houston, passing this cattle ranch, this logging camp, and iron ore mine, and crossing over the ri Mississippi River, I believe, and connecting it to this line to Memphis. That way, passengers can travel freely from Memphis to Houston without needing to change trains at New Orleans. Place down my signals on some of these sections of track. Now, as you can see, there's not enough room on the other side to support a servicing facility. Actually, I think they can. Oh, I won't have enough room for signals. That's the reason. What if I basically put it super close to the station, and then put it, like, no, it won't work. Never mind. Okay, place some signals here. Control click on some of these. But the cool thing is, since Memphis is really close to a long here, oh wait, Logs are already being delivered. Wait, actually? No. Mistake. I mistaken myself. I have another save game that's similar to this, and I actually have logs being transported from here to here. But, since there's no log trains being delivered to Memphis, I might as well do this so I can earn some extra profit. Since there's going to be two logging trains operating from Baker to Cleary, might as well basically build another track connecting this line towards Houston. start operating some trains carrying some basic materials to Houston. And we basically have enough innovation points for new technology. I think it's time to add the refrigeration car, or normally known as a reefer. Now I have so many trains with reefers I'll need to basically give every single train carrying anything that's perishable with the reefer car, so I'll be right back. And we're back! Sorry it took a little while, I had to make sure that the trains that were carrying perishable items such as meat and cheeses and various other things had a refrigeration car. I I think I got a refrigeration car on all of them, but if not, I'll probably edit that at the end of this video or something like that. No, I didn't. But, in retrospect, this refrigeration car will really help out on my freight trains. My company now has reached over $60 million in value, which is pretty freaking sweet. Now then, let's continue with our expansion project. San Antonio is offering a connection bonus. We might as well take that chance. We'll leave these two track nodes up here for later. But since San Antonio is on a gradient, I want to try to build a, st a track up to the station without constructing a bridge. Okay, they're connected. I think these two track nodes here could basically connect to Oklahoma City. I believe or they could just swoop over to Odessa 
thing is, there are no cities to connect in this area because that's Mexico. Speaking of which, I haven't even changed the prices on these tickets. I need to make sure that every passenger wants to ride these trains. But line popularity really needs to go up on a lot of these. Ooh, this train, this ticket price is a little too expensive. There we go. 86 bucks. Don't know how that got there in the first place. Change it to 47. Hmm. Oh, plus I connected the ca this dairy farm to delivering milk to Portland, as well as operating a train to Pittsburgh. And also delivering milk into New York to help it grow a little. The city has a tailor, and there's no cotton available. Well, no textiles. So I'm going to switch this with another industry. There's a furniture industry, this will make, in fact, this will make uh, transports of lumber into the city as well as l furniture exports a lot faster to Washington, and then to Pittsburgh once it gets big enough. Surprising, really, how Pittsburgh is going to become a town with raw materials, well, building materials, so to speak. Denver is now big enough for another industry. Let's place down a per dairy processor. And the cost for that industry has gone down significantly. At the same time, we'll basically expand to our next city as well, to Casper. And then connect the two cities together. Now with that done, we can now operate a train on this section of line. We'll also need to connect this dairy farm, Adam's Cattle, to the main line. cities, put a Philadelphia 060, add a refrigeration car to carry like eggs and butter, and the tankers behind it to carry milk. 54 stations, and now I'll operate a train between Denver and Casper. Until Casper grows big enough, we won't be sending a train and freight train to there yet. Just on a security guard. However, we could convert Miles City into a cattle town, into a meat town, as there's a cattle ranch not too far from here. Let's do that. We'll have to build a loop. And then swing it around. Perfect. Then this track node will easily connect there. We'll buy out the brewery and then place in a meat packing plant. We'll add a supply station here and add the signals. Kansas bleeds. Yep. One of the few things that will eventually lead to the Civil War. But that's only a few years away. We now have enough to basically unlock a new piece of equipment. We'll use counter pressure brakes. This will reduce the maintenance requirements of my locomotives by 5%. Now, Miles City needs cattle and the nearby cattle ranch will basically help us out with that void. 
King Cattle will be in charge of this. This track node will go to Bismarck, and these other two track nodes will connect to Sioux Falls. We're not going to build a station in Bismarck just yet. We'll basically tap into these three natural resources first. station at this sugar farm, and at a station at this logging camp. Plus, Denver has grown big enough, so we'll start supplying it with sugar. But, we'll also supply some corn to it as well. Well, technically connect the corn farm to this section of the line. One train to carry corn to Casper, and the other to deliver it to Denver. First two corn trains re operated. We'll also operate our first logging train to Miles City, and our important cattle train to Miles City to be processed into fresh meat that can be, be eaten by the locals. And at the same time, we can start operating a passenger and a freight service between these two cities. We'll start off with a freight train to deliver some beer to the town. A refrigerator car and a caboose. Classify as passenger. We'll put the 440 American in service. We'll change the price for these tickets. And now, we'll basically connect, start running our railroad through the Rocky Mountains into Salt Lake City. And that will basically will be as far as we go in this episode. But we'll start to continue expanding our railroad until we reach the Pacific Ocean. We'll pass by this grain farm and this coal mine. And... Hmm... There's no clay pits anywhere, so I can't produce any uh, pottery just yet. Well, actually, I can deliver coal to Casper, then potter, and then clay to here. But that will be in the far future. But we don't want to ex build expensive tunnels for the mountains, so we'll basically go with the curvature of the land. Build a small tunnel, and then curve into Denver. Well, curve into Salt Lake City. This other track will lead towards Great Falls. Ooh. The track is blocked by a building. Ugh, it's too close to the coal mine. I'll have to fix that. That should do it.
We'll also have to supply Casper with some grain, of course. Which won't be too difficult. A Philadelphia 060 will handle that service because of its close proximity. 61 stations total. I have a feeling before the end of the game we're going to have over a hundred stations on our companies and books. And since Casper is now growing, actually, no, it's not growing. New York is growing and now has reached 90,000 residents. There's no and Pittsburgh. And Portland, Maine has also grown, too. Hmm. Actually, we'll make a paper mill out of here. Anyway, back to the main project at hand. We'll classify this as a freight. Put the mogul in charge of this service. At the same time, will operate a passenger train from Casper to Salt Lake City. P, swap the starting position at the American, and then add, huh, a speed bonus for, for the, well, freight train will probably do a lot better. Oh, come on. Unless... Sometimes this happens. I'll just put it at 5. I'll put some safety and then some comfort and basically earn some money from this professor. Ooh, too expensive. Now, not expensive. Now... We have basically had conquered the Rocky Mountains, and now we're only a couple of miles, well, a hundred miles, away from connecting to our next destination in the Pacific. Though, the mo these 260 moguls will not be ideal for this service for much longer. We'll have to possibly find a new locomotive to replace them for the freight trains over this section of line. Oh, and Miles Cities has begun to grow, too. Perfect. I'll upgrade the industry there. And it's not ready to accept sugar yet, but they will come in time. And I think that will do it for this episode, guys. So if you like this episode of Railway Empire, be sure to give a like and subscribe. Well a comment and a like on this video, and possibly subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new content every Friday. Once again, this is Texas Gaming Industries, and I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!